There's a, a great app that I use all the time. It's actually a Mac App Store app called Screen Taker that I highly recommend. And what Screen Taker allows you to do is to take the screenshots that you take on your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch, and then it will allow you to add some style to your screenshots. So they're not just ordinary, you know, run-of-the-mill ho-hum screenshots. I'll show you what I mean by dragging one of these images in here. There you go. So you kind of get an idea of what, what we're talking about right now. You see the device, the orientation, and the effects. It automatically can tell whether or not it's a, an iPhone screenshot or an iPad screenshot. So that's really nice. And then you can wrap it in a frame just like this, which is a really nice effect. If you want to give it the white frame, you can do that. A lot of people use this app or they use some variant of it. Now, of course, you can go into Photoshop normally and, and do the same thing, but this saves you a lot of time. It's just a drop and drag and there's all these different effects you can have. You just save as, just like this. So we'll save it to my desktop here. There we go. And you can, of course, scale these images however you want them to be. But I'm just gonna save it right here. Let's open up a preview. And there you go, there's a nice little frame around your image. Of course, this is an iPod Touch frame, but you get the point. And another, another nice thing about Screen Taker is that you can go and get more effects from their website. So if the stock effects aren't suitable for you, you can get this side-by-side -side image. They have a color invert, iPhone 4 perspective, iPhone 4 standing. So there's a few more um, frames that you can download as plugins. You just download, double click them, and they install automatically, super easy. Now, I've actually installed this side-by-side -side iPhone 4 frame, as you can see there, so I can use that immediately. It's so easy, it's so simple. Now, another nice thing about Screen Taker is that it knows the type of screenshot you import. Notice the device automatically changed to iPad once I imported this image, and it's an iPad screenshot, of course. So you can do the same thing. The same principle applies here. You get the reflection, and then you can change the orientation, um, you can change the effect, and then, of course, you can save as and export that particular screenshot. And it looks a lot better with the frame around it, in my opinion. What do you think? So I'm going to save that, export that, and do a little preview on here. There we go. So that looks really nice in that iPad frame. It's really great for showing off uh, new apps that you may be developing. It's great for you know posting screenshots on your blog. It just looks a lot more complete instead of the, the standalone screenshot. Again, it is called Screen Taker. You can download it from the Mac App Store for $4.99. Uh, that's a little pricey, but you gotta consider it. It saves you time by not having to fire up Photoshop all the time. Also, the developer has been supporting this. There's, there's always an update for the Screen Taker, and there are, of course, additional effects that you can download from the website as well. So it's a well-supported app. It saves you time, and there are additional effects. I think it's well worth the $4.99 if you're interested. Head over to the Mac App Store and download it today. Let me know what you think in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.